Right across this country, you are no longer allowed to use these while driving. And if you do, studies show you're 23% more likely to crash into the car, sidewalk, or pedestrian in front of you. Despite the obvious distractions, studies also show that bans and penalties aren't doing enough to keep drivers from picking up the phone. The teams in this next story are hoping they can be more convincing. The one that really uh, stood out was uh, if you're texting an average of three to five seconds, um, you're basically driving half of a football field. Um, that's the distance that you're going without looking up. Scott Place is the brains behind this ad. Through a national CAA program, the Winnipeg teacher enlisted the help of his students to submit two possible commercials of texting and driving. One on the numbers, the other on the impact. You could have died. Lee and Kelsey are best friends in life. And the video where they acted out the possibility of one of them dying because they chose to text and drive. I tried getting myself so much into that role, but it's crazy trying to imagine your friend dead. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know what I would do. <laughs> you just kind of think like, when are you going to stop and understand how much it's impacting people? I saw you texting and driving last night. You could have gotten in an accident. You could have hurt someone. You could have ended up in the hospital. You could have died. She was texting and driving last night. She got in an accident. She hurt someone. She ended up in the hospital. She died.